Welcome back everyone to a new Let's Play. It's new? Yeah. We do new stuff. What about all the old stuff? Well, this isn't old stuff. This is new stuff. Okay. Even though it is, it, okay, it's old stuff because it's an old game-ish. I remember this game. My uncle got it with his... Close to about the time he got his original Xbox. So I... I never beat it. Still haven't beaten it, so half of the levels I've played, half of them I have not. So this will be fun. Let me look down my battle rifle. <laughs> Actually, I think this might have been pre Halo. So maybe Halo took it from this. You're right, it did take the curse. They should sue. If you can't tell, the premise is giant robot turned into jet. As I was just explaining, well, as I was just discussing with Matthew, I should say. That's also the plot. Giant robot turned to mech. The twist is where it turns into a plane. Oh, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Giant robot turns into a mech. What? <laughs> My bad. Oh, and explosions too. Yeah, oh yeah. It's like a Michael Bay film. Cool guys run away from explosions. We're playing gunmetal! Gunmetal! But... I actually um, realized there's speaking in this part in the background because we're in headphones now I can hear it. You're right, there is. There's calm chatter. Yeah, instead of just this loop of what sounds like they took it from Empire Earth. So Let us play the game. Load game. Uh, I started. We started playing this once, and Matthew had a phone call and had to go. So this is sort of. Whatever. Actually, I have a better idea. Here's what we'll do. We'll delete this game so you can't see any of the cool weapons you get later on. Joy. And we'll go a new game. Oh, snap. Same name. Okay, Gun Metal 2 Pilot. And this is where you get... No, once you get later on, you can actually select your own weapons. And I don't know if you actually get to select a different jet type or suit type. But... Yeah, this is your everything here, so let's go. One thing I saw said this game had like 30 levels, this and one said like area is the source of essential provisions 15. for our troops. We have done all we can to prevent enemy occupation. Yeah, that's a little bit of a difference, isn't it? I mean, it's breached. only you know twice the amount. Our intelligence yeah. headquarters has now come under heavy attack. It is finally time to reveal Project Gunmetal. Show no mercy. Plot. Who needs it? Sure enough, Project Gun Metal. Ooh, I should probably start the timer that we have. We upgraded. We now have an actual physical stopwatch. Can I run oh, you can run over your troop, walk on top of your troop and kill them. We did. Ooh. As you can tell, I'm taking, I'm getting hit, but I'm not losing health because I have a shield. Once your shield depletes, you take a beating to your hole. Yeah. Hit. And let's show off this one here. This is my. Flat cannon, or as I like to call it, shotgun. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. They really let you realize in this level how OP you actually are. Well, you're supposed to be, you're this top secret project. The great thing is, in like, four levels when we aren't OP anymore. So now we just fly on over here. I don't know why we fly on over here. I guess if you took damage in that part. That's your health thing and this is your ammo. Well, it's introducing you to health and ammo. I guess. If you can even call us destroyer. There's also animals to kill. Now, you told me the controls for this game are very interesting. Yeah, it's one of those ones... There was absolutely no reason for that. It's one of those ones where... It does... Like, once you start moving ah, your... Ah, my eyes! Yeah, it's flying... My eyes! They take flying into the sun way too seriously. Ah! But it's one of those ones where when you move your cursor... Like, you know most games, if you move your cursor, it moves your uh, line of sight, too? Mm -hmm. Well, on this one, you can move the cursor around the screen, but the line, but your line of sight 
it doesn't necessarily change. And I actually don't know on the... Oh, God, that's awful. It is. Julian, you took whole damage. Oh, yeah, when you're in your airplane mode, you don't have a shield. That seems inefficient. The, aside from a couple levels, it's better if you just stay in the uh, humanoid mode. What's with those gun, uh, gun position? What are you talking about? I already had the gun facing himself like this and was shooting forward. So yeah, the missions are actually really short for the most part. I think mission three is the longest of 12 minutes I've had so far. 12 minutes? Yeah. Torpedo. Which just shoots. A torpedo? Yeah, only there's no water, it just kind of skims the ground, so you can't actually attack air targets with it. The hmm. enemy has been deploying automatons to deliver devastating explosives to our settlements. We have detected a number of these walking bombs making their way toward our weapons research facility. Protect our settlements and do not let the enemy jeopardize the arms program. Simple enough. Sound good to me? Yeah. That being said, this level can, if you don't stay on top of it, get really, really annoying. Because those guys right there, I just blew up to do that thing. That explosion will hurt you and damage any buildings in the area, but it will not hurt their guys. That's annoying. You think it would hurt their, their themselves? Yeah. And obviously it hurts... Okay, this thing, if you can get underneath them like this and just flat cannon them a couple times, or not a couple, a few times, a lot of times, then they're no problem. But those are troop transports. Oops, that was the wrong button. The troop transports... Oops, that's the wrong gun. The troop transports will drop and actually deploy uh, small ground units that aren't actually robots, and they're like the ones I stepped on in the previous level, basically. Oh, sweet. So you get to trample all of the tro troopers? Yeah, I like how I'm down here dancing now. Do doing a little gig. Yeah, see that, that right there hit my shield and did some damage to it. Yeah. I was trying to scratch my face and touch. This looks still like playing, but... this looks like the Windows XP default background. <laughs> yeah, I just realized that. I wish that sun would go away though. I'd... That's really obnoxious. You need to change, like, dumb down the uh, the, the effects. Dumb down the ambient occlusion, oculations, whatever, however you say it. Yeah. Well, you see, you have to unlock the upgrade upgrade uh, sunglasses. Ah. Yeah, running into stuff is not good for your health. You, you'll, you'll get that once you beat Mission 5. I don't think it's only one of those things where it keeps track of your computer time, because I don't remember being this bad earlier, though. Come back here, you. Look out, it's dropping transports. And the, the troops that drops troops, aren't... I mean. The troops that drops aren't too bad. The problem is they are really good at, uh... Those things have, the transports have really strong cannons on them. And those little triangles, if you can't tell, auto lock onto targets. You fire them and they can attack four of them at one time. You don't get a whole lot of them, but they're good for taking out those guys, the explosive guys. I really hate the explosive guys. I don't believe you. Go figure. Oh, you know what the next level is? What? This is why it takes so long. Escort mission. Oh. Because everyone loves those. You know, why don't they mix it up where you're being escorted? I don't know. That would make sense, that's why. Or are you troop transport? I mean, you are the right. project, oh, there you are. You are the project gun. Metal. This one might actually let some troops out. You should say hi to the um, the bridge. Just flat cannon straight to him. 
I was hoping I could actually get the shirt at all. And done. If I get new gun to look Yeah, see how it's on the gun like pointing yeah. my face and shooting me? Yeah. We, we doing the next one? Oh, of course. What did I say 12? Yeah, we got time. We're at 7 minutes and 24 seconds. Oh, 7? I thought I said 12. Nope. Oh, well, yeah, we got plenty of time for this. Now we have... The Tomahawk. They actually, like... Like, you know how... On, uh... When we were playing UN Squadron, they had that submarine that shoot rockets straight up? <laughs> this will shoot up and come down on locked on targets. If I... Did it say locked on? I might be wrong about that part. Eh, whatever. Don't need it anyway. Eh. Enemies are amassing at a location dangerously close to the intelligence HQ. Same one from the first level. Hope to overcome such a powerful force. Same we HQ. We are preparing mm -hmm. our choppers, and the weapons plant beyond the mountains is dispatching a consignment of armaments. See that the convoy arrives safely, and we may be able to strike first. This big arrow here is that little tiny, that weapons plant is that little tiny spot where we started, uh, where we got to fly to on the first mission. Hmm. At least they tie everything in. Oh yeah, like you keep going to the different zones. And... Now back to Windows Vista land. I mean, not Vista, but XP, XP land. Yes. Ooh. That's still really cool, you can change on the fly. Change into a jet on the fly. Yeah. On the fly. <laughs> that gun glitch just kills me. Too bad you can't get a kill shot. Now this is really obnoxious for the sheer fact of their... Oops, wrong one. There's just so many of these things. They're just bullet sponges. Yeah! Like, look how many shots it takes to kill them. Granted, the little guys don't have to stand a chance against me, really, but... That might have been overkill. I didn't kill that one yet. I mean, you can't really kill anything more than... More than... Clouds are very trippy to look at. Yeah. And like I said, if uh, you get locked onto by the enemy, you can do a roll to get away from them. Ooh. In jet form? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that was slick. And yes, I just like Goomba stomped off that guy's head. Is the sun working for the enemies? It looks that way. Pretty much the enemy, uh, the enemy, the, the yeah, the enemies or convoy we're running into. They, it's a straight line around this mountain, the paths thing here. Project Gunmetal does not have UV, UV protected. Well, if you look at the shields. if you look at the cockpit, it is a looks like it's a piece of sheet glass. That's because it is. The accuracy, the accuracy though, of the shotgun is great. What's the flat cannon? Shotgun. Shot cannon. One complaint I have though is I tend. Yeah, I have enough time to go reload. So I took out the other guys first. Now for the cockpit of the mech, is it? Is your guys still? When it shifts, is your guy looking straight down, or...? I have no idea. Or does the, the, the cockpit gyrate? Yeah, the enemy AI can be kind of dumb sometimes. 
so can the sun. That can be pretty dumb too. And I took no damage from that. Sweet. Oh! What, the trees? Some controlled fire is going on. <laughs> you can mow the trees down, too. I also managed to take no damage from hitting the ground there because I pushed the button to change fast enough. That is awesome. This thing also has a much farther range than the... Um. Hey, how come you didn't name the pilot uh, JJ? Uh. That'd be a fitting name. Yeah. JJ the jet plane slash mech. Let's show off an airplane cannon. Did you Goomba saw that thing to death? Mm, yes. Well, not really, but we're gonna say yes. And you have to be careful because friendly fire is turned on. And by turned on, I mean you can't change it. Also, like any good convoy mission, I love how I just kind of left the convoy and doing my own thing. I do that all the time. And back Just here behind our base is a little bit of ammo. Ooh. Because the convoy is always painfully slow. And painfully stupid. Yes. Just looking through the scarred battlefield. Yeah, I did like the, the oops. I did like the touch that they kept all this stuff from the previous level here. That is awesome. That is, that is a very nice touch. Now we just gotta go around killing the local wildlife until the thing shows up. Is that part of the mission? Well, we can't do anything until the convoy gets to that bla base and... Okay. Well, might as well take your part in some fair sport. If you know what I mean. What's more fair than a giant mech shooting um, rhinos? Jet plane. And the cool one cool touch is if you run through the forest. Oh. Uh, out of the way, excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> it's a little thing like this that you don't usually get to enjoy because usually the missions are pretty like go objective A with hardly enough time to get there. Which, when you think about hardly enough time, also it was like two minutes. I didn't think this part through though, I would, I would actually finish up this quickly. I wonder what water does to us. Why should make us restart the whole level? Keep it up. The re energizer is under attack. The weapons plant is useless without it. I was hoping I'd change into a jet underwater. Or, like, get some glitch where I turn into a submarine. What? Then you'll have to tell Bobby, your uncle, I turned into a submarine with gunmetal. Luckily this is all still fresh enough in my head that I remember where all the stuff comes from. See, we prepare sometimes. Sometimes. I just... yeah, on occasion. Oh no, the convoy! I always think I'm gonna crash into the ground when I do that. I wouldn't use the Phoenix. Oh! Never mind. Close range. Because... It's basically an air shotgun. Mm -hmm. 
Good thing I saved some ammo back here. I need it. Why don't you just do the drop by? I've tried that before here, and it, I always end up crashing into the wall really bad. For the convoy, then we can launch a concerted attack. Ooh, concerted. Look at him using fancy words, Mr. Announcer Man. See video games build vocabulary. Let's see how deep this is. Not very. This is a pond. They're saving. They're saving. Well, your mech's pretty big. Oh, okay. Oh, so you don't want to drown your jet. <laughs> Sometimes taking off is a little bit tricky. Oops. <laughs> well, did I do that? Don't tell Smokey the Bear. Do that torpedo will do to it. Oops. That was an accident, sir. I oh, I, bro I broke the gate. <laughs> Oops. That is the brightest sun I've ever seen in a video game. I mean, I guess they got it very accurate for what I'm assuming it would be like to fly directly into the sun, but but why is the real question. Too bad there's not a cockpit view. My question is, why did it put so much onto the sun and so little into the terrain? Because they hope the sun could block the fact that they barely put any textures on the planes. Yeah, screw this. I'm going to try to take this out before the convoy ever gets there. Oh yeah, the animals are actually... Well, they decomposed. In a matter of a couple of hours. Okay, so that's not a rhino. I don't know what that is. Why does it... Um... New profile picture? No? Uh, probably? Look as the grateful Hercopurps grace the field. The natural prey, I mean, the natural predator, the gun battle, mows it down with ease. Also, did you really, did you notice who they gave the gun metal a booty? It's necessary. <laughs> well, where oh, I go into assault, you know what I do? I let them know I'm coming by just clearing a path through the woods that they have to be able to hear. Look out, there's a ranged lumberjack is coming. Let's hear some torpedoes. Ooh, that, that is cool. That hel- Oh, those are your helicopters they're shooting down. That's supposed to be your support? My support is a couple helicopters that just keep falling out of the sky. Well, let's see if they take down something. They might take down something if they cough when they fall to the ground. Those th troop transports are the hardest enemies because they destroy your shield so well. And then just keep they they can't miss. They have 100% accuracy. Oh, I was trying to do a swoop under. Well, I took the same amount of time to beat as I did before. Hmm, consistency. All right. Well. Next time we come back, we're gonna do this mission. Mission called protection. Yeah, so we'll see you next time. Bye.